Roe v. Wade was a, it was a turning point in this country. We began the march toward a, a culture of death we're now living in the consequences of. Uh, it was a pivotal moment, and the church primarily slept through it. Yeah. We've been rallying and trying to, to, to correct that ever since. <clears throat> I hear people saying we're winning the abortion war. I, I just completely disagree with that. As long as one doctor can legally kill a baby, uh, we're losing the war. But with abortion, you can opt out. You don't have to participate in that. In June of this year, the Supreme Court, in its infinite wisdom, is, is going to rule on marriage. And it's pretty obvious it'll be a 6 to 3, maybe a 7 to 2 decision. We'll know what Roberts will do. He surprised us in the past. Yeah. But it's pretty well determined what the other six will do. Uh, when that happens, you will see the playing field completely change. <laughs> the very thing that these two men just spoke to uh, will get up the day after that ruling, in fact, a few hours after that ruling, when it's widely disseminated, and you'll find yourself, those of us who believe that homosexuality is a sexual sin, perversion, if you will, those of us who believe that homosexual marriage is unnatural and forbidden by God, and who have taught that our entire lives, I've been, I'm now the oldest I've ever been. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday. Now listen carefully. When that law is passed, you are then going to be breaking the law if you preach or teach what you've always taught, what you've always preached. Fundamentally, it undermines the whole nature of America. 